to give you a piece of advice for sighting in your scope. This circle here is going to represent the inside diameter of the outer tube of your scope. And this circle is going to represent the inner tube in your scope. Now when you go and adjust the windage and elevation, you quite literally are moving this inner tube around until you've got your crosshair centered to the point of impact. When you move, for instance, the windage over, what you're doing in its essence is also reducing the total amount of elevation adjustment you have. So you can see I'm moving it over, but oh, I can't move it over as much. Conversely, when you move your elevation first, <clears throat> you're reducing the amount of windage you now have as far as total uh, adjustment goes. So what you're going to want to do when you put your first three shot pattern down range and you say, okay, where do I have to move? We'll just say for talking purposes, it's four inches to the left and an inch high. Well, you're further out in your windage. So move the windage first and then the elevation. Or as another example, say you're four or five inches low and you only need to move the windage two inches. Well then move your elevation first and then the windage. So the rule of thumb is whatever you're out furthest, move your scope in that direction first. That way you'll have the maximum amount of travel available to you.